Over the there we go. Hey everybody, it's Crystal and Jamie from You Move Fit here to bring you some arms and abs for the week. You can see it's a gorgeous selection of workout to do. Jamie's coming in. All you guys need is just some dumbbells and you don't even need dumbbells <laughs> if you don't want to. You're still going to get a great workout without them. So, all right guys. Okay. Take a second, write this down if you want it. Um, let's back it up just to make sure you guys can see it. There we go. Hopefully, I don't know, <laughs> it may or may not be in. If not, write them down as we go. All yeah. right. Oh, we'll talk about it. It'll yep. be fine. But first, we're going to get warmed up. I'm going to move Mina's water bottle over here. Sorry. That's okay. All right, guys. So, Mina, go up a little bit because you're a little shorter. Right there. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're going to start by twisting at the waist. Kick that heel out. Get a nice stretch here. If you guys have been sitting on the couch for a little while, might need to get a little bit of stretching in. Getting over this whole COVID thing. Things are starting to pick back up. I shouldn't have ate those spicy chews. <laughs> here we go. Reaching up, getting the stretch from your fingertip all the way to your toes. <laughs> Somehow I'm still opposite. I tried to keep up. <laughs> It's all good. Go at your own pace. And down to the waist. And down to the thigh. And down to the knees. Mina looks like she's doing the hula dance. Down to the shin. And down to the toes or as low as you can go. All right, here we go. We're up on our toes. Get the heart rate moving. There we go. Ha, keep breathing. Side to side. Front to back. Twist your hips. And here we go. Let's get some butt kicks. Mina is out for a second. She's going to come and go through the whole video. Yeah. And knees up. Remember, you're using your lower abs to pull your knee up to greater than that parallel to the floor. And feet up. Might need to start off a little low and then work your way up as your legs let you. And three, two, and one. All right, here we go. We got some squats. Ten of them. Weight is in your heels. As you squat down, hips go back, and the weight goes in your heels, and then you're coming up. Here we go, right, 10. Right. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, shake it out. 10 jump jacks. Here we go. If you want to, if you need to, you can step these out just by going here, and then going to the other side. Other than that, we're doing a jumping jack. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, shake it out. Here we go. Two more squats with a hop to the top. If you're not doing the hop to the top, you're still doing the squat. So you're just doing the same thing, same motion with the squat. Going down, and then you're adding the hop at the top. Here we go, ten. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, shake it out. There we go. Ten more jumping jacks. Going sideways. Again, you can step these out if you want to. Other than that, we're going sideways. And here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right. Let's move our feet. Going as fast as you can. Get them moving quick. Knees up. And heels up. All the way up to your butt. And knees up. One more time. And heels up. All right, guys. We are using our arms this week. So we got some arm circles. Here we go. Small circles. Get them warmed up. And a little bit bigger. And biggest. That feels good. Reverse. Small circles. You got a peanut gallery. 
a little bit bigger and biggest give yourself some hugs thank yourself for pushing play today it's going to be a good workout a little different not a lot of cardio in the beginning or the middle just at the end yeah, yeah. up and down we're working on building so you're going to need some dumbbells yeah. all right guys you're going to need dumbbells through all of this but again you don't need dumbbells if you don't have them you're still going to get a great workout all right so pick some dumbbells that are challenging to you. So, you know, um, some of these you may be able to go heavier or lighter, but if you only have one set of dumbbells, use the same set, and you can go faster as long as you keep that, uh, your um, form correct, right? We don't want to sacrifice form for weight. Yeah. So grab a drink, get your favorite music, because again, we're not going to copyright anybody's music. We're not going to steal anything. So yeah. push play on your favorite music, and... We're gonna get this started. I'm gonna grab a drink. Sounds good. I've got some weights. I'm gonna do five pounds. I'm not sure if I need a ten or not. I'm gonna do good catching. Okay. Well, that's okay. You don't need any. All right, guys. Here we go. So right now we have we're at set number one. All of these we're gonna do curls, sidearm raise, tricep extension, and cross punches using dumbbells for all of those. All right. We only have thirty seconds on the clock. 15 seconds to have a rest in between, and we're going through that three times, all right? So if you want to, go ahead and write those down, and we're gonna get started. Curls. All right, so curls. Curls, 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 curls. Mina, if you wanted to. Oh, my shoe's untied. You're oh, gonna. I pulled the fill. Uh, <laughs> come on, Phil. Mina's gonna demonstrate no weight, so you're gonna lock your elbows right to your waist, and your arms go straight out like this, right? So then you're gonna tighten your biceps and curl up till you get a nice pinch so you can still feel that right here in your bicep, right? So you can feel that without any weight. And then you're gonna go back down, all right? You can certainly do this without weight or with weight, all right? Next one we're gonna do is a sidearm raise. So sounds just like it is, sidearm, bring them up, and back down, up, back down. If this hurts your elbow, just give a little bend in your elbow, right? So, so you don't want this, this part of your elbow to be locked out straight. Just slight bend here. That way you're not putting all that pressure on your joints, right? And then the last, or wait, not the last thing, we have a tricep extension. So tricep extension is overhead. You're going to take your single weight and you're going from here over your head. From here over your head, working your triceps back here. And then the last thing we have is a cross punch, again, with weight or without weight. You're going to take your weight and you're going to go side to side, right here. Stay keeping your body and your arms, your body twists, that heel kicks out, right here. And your arms are going straight across your body, straight across your chest. You don't want to go up or down, so we'll get to that later. Right here, straight across your chest. All right? You ready? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, guys. 30 seconds on the clock. 15 to get to where we want. Here we go. Grab your weight. We've got 10 seconds. We're going to start with curls. No weight could be anything. Make sure, guys. Soup cans. Lock sure. your elbows. Sure bags. Soup lock your elbows bags. and you're curling straight up, straight down. Yep, just like that. Straight up, straight down. Make sure you're not swinging this up. Right. You're you are using your biceps, focusing on biceps. Give you a nice squeeze at the top. Pay attention to your lower back, your abs. Keep your core tight. We have seven seconds. And time. All right, guys, we're going to keep our weights. Next, we have a side arm raise. You might have to go down and weight on this, depending on how heavy you went with your curls. Yep. So side arm raise. I'm going to go ahead up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Side arm raise, right here. And again, we're not swinging them up and letting them drop. You're controlling it that whole way, straight up, straight down. There you go. Keep your back nice and tight. Tricep extension now. You can drop one of these if you want to. 
or you can use both, all right? But you're right here, behind your head, and pushing straight up over your head, right here. And here we go, tricep extension, guys. Right here, over your head, Just pushing straight up to the ceiling. Again, you can use your one weight, or you can use both of them, depending on what weights you're using for the other exercises. Working your triceps. Slow and steady. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, we have one more. Again, we're going through this three times. We got cross punches. Chris is putting hers down. That's okay. <laughs> hmm. With weights. I must have missed that in the Q&A portion of this video. Here we go. You can certainly put them down if you want to. You're keeping your weights here. Cross punch. Right, you notice I'm not flying. I'm not overextending my elbows. Nice and controlled. Working your arms and your core at the same time. Kicking that heel out. Good, Mina. Perfect. Mina's demonstrating without weight. And she's still getting a good... Workout. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Woo. We're back to number one. Back to curls. We're going through this two more times. Two more times. Look up a little bit, Nancy. Remember, curls? Lock your elbows. Straight up. Straight down. on your form. Back's nice and straight. Right here. Back nice and straight. If you guys need to, shake it out a little bit. Come back in. We got three, two, and one. All right. You know I'm in on making this stuff up. I'm always so surprised we have to do it again. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, we're done. One time through. Side arm raise, guys. Side arm raise. Here we go. Side arm. Remember to control it up and down. Don't lock your elbows. You can pull that back towards your back, so you're pinching your shoulder blades together at the top. Mina's gonna do the crane. You karate kid. I saw it. Oh, it's good. I like that form. Three, two, and one. All right, tricep extension, guys. We have been watching the karate film. <laughs> but on TV. It's one of those movies that you just have to stop and watch wherever it's at. Here we go. Behind your head. And here we go. Again, you can put your one of your weights down if you need to. This one's tricky. The, the double one today. The first one, I just pulled on last time. And that's perfectly okay. Doing the double. Especially if you're curling with a lot of weight, you might want to put it down for this one. Five seconds. And time. All right, guys, how are your arms feeling? Feel My arms are a little Feel sore, a little tired. We got cross punches. Three times, Mina, three. So one more time after this. Here we go, cross punches. Remember, don't let them drop. Keep them straight across your body. Remember to breathe. My arms are feeling it. This is the second time through. Are you gonna do anything with legs? Ah, nope. Three, two, and time. Whew. All right, guys. I'll put mine down for a few seconds. Shake my arms out. If you don't have to put them down, by all means, keep them up there because that's part of the workout. All right, we're back to curls. Last time for curls. Last time. Here you go. Lock your elbows. Curl them straight up. Get a pinch at the top with your bicep. Nice squeeze. Got this. Keep going. Ten seconds. And one. Nice. 
Miles. <laughs> Sidearm raises. Sidearm raises. <sighs> Here we go. Three, two, and one. Sidearm. I might have went a little too heavy for this. <laughs> I'm over 20s. It was good at first, but now they're getting heavy. You can switch with mom. I have no regrets going with my fives. <laughs> I'm going to put them down for the cross punches. Three, two, and time. Tricep extensions. One down for this. And that's okay, you guys' arms should be burning by now, even if you're not using any weights. I feel burned. Don't be afraid of it. Here we go. Straight up over your head. Yeah, listen. I'm just giving a side view. But 30 seconds doesn't seem like a long time, especially when you're going slow, but man. slower so you don't hurt your joints. I still better go slow because we have these guns. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> have to get a license for them. Yep. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys. All right. Uh, get some water. Take a break. Get some water. While you guys are getting a break, uh, getting a drink of water, I'm going to show you number two or set number two. Same idea, we're going through it three times, 30 seconds each one. <laughs> set number two, right here. We have a bent over row, reverse curl, forearm curl, and a cross up punch. All right, let's go through those real quick while you guys are taking that break. Bent over row, you're right here. Be careful with this one, guys. You don't want to be bent over like this, knees locked out, and your back is like this. That is totally not right. You want a slight bend in your knees, your back to be nice and straight, and you want your hips to go back. You're right here, see? And if you're not sure if your back is straight, always point your chin in the direction you want your spine to go, because it's hard to bend, you, to curl your spine if your chin is pointed forward, right? If I do this, then it goes down. Point your chin forward, that keeps your back in line. All right, so you're right here, bent over row. You want your weights to be like this, not off to the side. You want them to be, uh, to go uh, parallel with your hips. So you're right here, and your hips go back, a slight bend, and you're gonna pull them up to your armpits and back down. Right here, you're bringing your elbows out and out. Not, don't keep your elbows tight, you want them out. So you're right here, up and out. Okay, we're working the upper portion of the back and the chest. Right here, right there. All right. Next one we have is a reverse curl. I'm gonna go a little lighter on these. So, I'm gonna grab some, let's grab some 15s. We'll see if that's a little too zealous. So, here we go. Reverse curl, regular curl, palms up. Reverse curl, palms down. You're right here, get that curl. Okay, right here. Get that curl up, all right? Okay. And then we have a forearm curl. This one you're gonna feel. So you're gonna lock your elbows again, right here. And you are going right here, you're using only your wrists. You should feel that right in through your forearm, the bottom part of your forearm, all right? Then we have cross punches. Cross punches, cross up punches. Same as the last one, except we're punching up. 
pretty, pretty uh, uh, complicated. Thanks, thanks I know. So you're here. You're going up. You're doing that stretch up, all the way through. Remember to keep your form right. Kicking your heel out. Everything's the same, except you're punching up. Got it. Ready? No. Yeah. Ready and easy? No. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. All right, bent over row. Ten seconds. Or, yeah, ten seconds. I'm going to grab some dip ones too. Knees yeah, bent. Here we go. Let's move up a little bit now. Move up, move up. There we go. So we're here. Back's nice and straight. Pulling that straight up. Slow and oh, control. Back straight means. Yeah, that's terrible form. Back straight. <laughs> you didn't watch the tutorial, did you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. It's too quiet in here. <laughs> Remember to breathe. It's not quiet where they're at because they got their music blaring. <laughs> All right. Next, we have that reverse curl. So your palms are down while you're doing a curl. Oh, here, flip. come come back behind me so you can watch me. There you go. go back here oh, a little bit. Palms. Hips are here. Palms are down. Here. Oh. And then curling up. That's what I did last time. Uh huh. It's <laughs> alright. You can do it again. Right here, go back there. See you. There you go. Oh. Shit. We're good. Yeah, we started, man. Oh. Feel the burn. I know. I'm feeling. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Like, are you feeling, Mr. Crash? Can you feel it? <laughs> 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 Three, two, and one. Yes, I do. All right. Forearm curl. curl. This one kills me. Whew. It seems like it's not a curl. It's, it's a curl. It's a wrist curl. curl. It's a wrist curl. Let it go through your fingers. You're right here. Curling up and then back down. Get a nice squeeze at the top. It's all in the wrist. Yeah. So watch my wrist, curling your hands up. There you go. And again, if you're squeezing this at the top without any weight, you're still going to feel that in your in your oh. forearm. Five seconds. It hurts. <laughs> Two and one. All right, we have cross punches up. I'm going to switch to a lower weight so I don't hurt my shoulders. And again, right. you don't need to use weight. Cross, up. So it goes up. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's harder than it sounds. Up. Up. I don't want to get hit by everything, so I'm just going to go up here. Remember to breathe. Eight seconds. Straight, point your chin in the direction you want it to go. Yep. Everything's nice and controlled. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? I can feel it, Mr. Krabs. Five seconds. Take some tagline today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is what we should have titled the video. <sighs> can you feel it? That would have been a good one. All right. All right, guys, we have the reverse curl. Palms are facing forward. So I have a nice arsenal over We're here. We're moving. <laughs> you already titled the video before you even made it. I always do. Oh. <laughs> Can you change it? We're going to change the title. This is King <laughs> Field, Mr. Crab Workout. <laughs> Seven seconds. And time. Oh, All right, right. forearm curl. These are getting heavy. Yes, I'm whining. <laughs> my back 
Phil, and Nicole, I'm mine. Rick, yeah. I didn't leave you up. Here we go. Right here, curling them up. Just in your forearms. I feel like a roll up more than a curl. It's not a fruit roll up. I'm sorry. I'm, it's, I'm a roll. it's a roll up, guys. I want some gushing. It's a wrist curl. It's a wrist It's a gusher. Roll it's a wrist roll up. <laughs> you look constipated. Uh huh. Five seconds. And time. I mean, I feel it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know it's all linguistics, it doesn't matter, I'm just saying. As long as your form's right, you can go back your arm. Yes, of pasta, linguistics, and here we go, we have that punch up, cross punch up. Remember to breathe, your arms should be feeling nice and sore right now. Seven seconds. And time. Whew. That's two times now. One more, One more round here. You enjoying this, Lila? No? She's tired. She's tired. All right, here we go. We have bent over rows. Here we go. Well, she looks fat. Bent over rows. Right here. Your back straight, man. You're good. Mom's back is arched. Nice and straight. Fucking mom's back is arched. Five seconds. <laughs> and time. All right, we have reverse curl. Reverse curls. I'm sweating. Stand up. Huh? The fans on? Uh, Here we go. There we go. I can't find. <laughs> 15 seconds. Don't break form, guys. Five, four. Three, two, and one. All right, we have that. Whatever it is. The wrist roll. That's right. And here we go. We can work out until midnight on New Year's Eve. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that either. Just to say 20 seconds. This is it, guys. Last one for this set. Last one for this set. Three, two, and time. Excellent job, guys. Take a break. Get some water. Shake your arms out. Let them loosen up a bit. Let that lactic acid kind of get out of the way. I'm going to get a drink. Getting a drink. Make sure you guys are hydrated, drinking plenty of water, eating well, because that is going to be 80% or more of your goals to be healthy. All right? Make sure you're eating healthy nutrition, 
Make sure you're eating carbs because those are your first source of energy. Don't just cut those out, all right? It's good. You're gonna lose weight quick, but you're gonna not feel that well. So eat those carbs, but make sure they're complex carbs, not simple carbs like you find in sugars and sodas, right? Make sure they're complex carbs, the ones you find in oats and, no, not pizza. I'm having Cheerios. Uh, maybe once in a while, yes. All right. So guys, while you get the drink, here we go. Third set. Third set. I'm going to cover up our nice finisher. Whoop. So you guys don't, you know, you can't get excited right yet. So right now, here we go. We have set three. We have an overhead press. We have hammer curls. We have reverse forearm curls. And we have cross down punches. All right. So here we go. I'm going to explain what those are. Overhead press. You're right here. So back move for a second, Mina. Overhead press, you're right here. So you're gonna pick your weights up right here. And you're going this way with the weight, not this way. You want them this way, right? So you want them going with the same as your shoulders, so like a hammer curl, right? We will be doing those. Right now we're doing overhead press. Right here, up, down. You can use your little bit of momentum to go up, even if you're not um, if you're not even if you're not exploding that up, you can still get that momentum going up like that, all right? Then from there, then we got our hammer curls. So hammer curls, your palms will face your body the whole time. You're right here, curling up and back down. Giving it nice and slow and controlled. Up and back down. Stop! Hands up. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and then we have reverse forearm curls. So this was this was the forearm curl. I'm gonna get a lighter weight. All right? So here, this was the the um Forearm curl or wrist roll. Now we have a reverse forearm curl re or reverse wrist roll. It's kind of like you're you're uh, riding a motorcycle, right? You're, you're getting this action here, but with weight. All right. So you, you should be feeling that in the top of your forearm this time. And then the last thing we have is a punch down. So you're going to punch from your shoulder down here, here. Bring it up to your shoulder every time. Don't just go down here, right? That's kind of cheating. So you want to go from your shoulder down to your knee and back up. Make sure you're controlled, pulling it back up. All right, back nice and straight. You don't want to be bending over like this and doing it. Keep your back nice and straight that whole time. Don't block yourself in the jaw. I can do that totally happening. All right, guys, here we go. Kids got in trouble. Both of you. All right, here we go. We have 10 seconds guys, 30 seconds on the clock, this is our last set. Oh, Your arms should be feeling nice right now. Okay, we had a nice little break. Back up. <sighs> What's first? Overhead press. press. Do you go a little heavier with this one if you have heavier? Like I have three different sets of dumbbells here, and I'm going between them. If I only had the lighter ones, that's perfectly okay. You still want to go through the motions. Like me, I'm at home right now. I only have the over, like these lighter ones right now. <laughs> yes. I don't have access to anything heavier than what I have right now. Nope. And that's perfectly okay. She's still getting a great workout. Yeah. Honestly, right now I couldn't go any heavier than this. All right. Next we have hammer curls. So I'm going to stay with those heavier weights. Hammer curls, the palms are going to face your body that whole time. If you don't have hammer or you don't have weights, you're going to Tighten your wrist, you're going to keep that forearm and your bicep tight that whole time. All the way up and down, getting a nice squeeze at the top. I'm getting jacked. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My forearms are totally <laughs> bulging. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds. But you feel bad for having me isolated with me for three months. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right. All right, guys. Reverse forearm curls. This one I'm going lighter on. These ones hurt right up here, but in a good way. In a good way. It's a motorcycle one, right? It's a motorcycle. You're right, motorcycle, except you have both of them going. It's so right here. You're not going up and down, locking your elbows. So your forearms are not moving. Up and down. Oh, the wrist. I 
feel kind of ridiculous. It's okay. Okay, not gonna lie. How are your forms, you know? Terrible. Ridiculous. <laughs> no, they hurt. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, we have that down punch. So from your shoulders, down and back up. Here we go. Straight down, back up. Your phone's ringing. No, I actually. Nice and controlled, guys. From your bring it all the way up to your shoulder every time, then down to your knee. I'm going to the outside of my knee. You might only go to the inside. That's okay. Yep, mine's landing like in the front. And time. All right, guys, that's one time down. We got two more times through it. Back to the overhead. Overhead press. I've got three different weights here, and that's okay. You know, go with whatever you got at home. Here we go. Remember, you're keeping your weight like this. Straight up and back down. Should I be doing that squat thing that you're doing? You don't have to. Okay. I just like it because it finishes that kinetic, kinetic movement. All right, so I'm getting the weight from my, I'm getting that movement all the way through my body, where she's isolating her shoulders and using just her shoulders to go up. That's perfectly fine too. Oh, I'm getting jacked. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, mom, stop. Hammer. I can't share her in public, so I do all I can while I can. You're welcome. Hammer curves. Again, same motion, you're keeping your palms facing you. Back's nice and straight. I have my knees locked because it's comfortable. You don't have to. I have mine bent. So it's up to you. My knees are bent and my abs are nice and tight. You want to keep your core tight through this whole thing. Knees are optional. <laughs> Go sideways so you can see I'm keeping my hammer curl in that direction. Now turning the wrist. All right. Reverse forearm curl. It's the motorcycle. <laughs> I got it. It reminds me of Fonzie. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Still feel ridiculous. I just feel ridiculous. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. But I tell you what, this part well, it right, works. Here, right here, man. Well, I know it works. It burns. I'm not, I'm not arguing the, the fact that it works. I just feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds, guys. In time. All right, we have that last one, the cross down punch. It's a good one. I could, I was trying to think of a joke, but I, I uh -huh. <laughs> Used them all up uh -huh. earlier. Used them. And I'm good for one set. One set. Well, one set wonder. I'm actually going to go a little heavier out of this one because I want to be able to get that pull from down here to up here. Right down. Feels nice. Remember to go from your shoulder each time. Excellent job, guys. We have one more time through. All right. And then we're going to do a quick finisher, and you guys are out of here. Can I do the finisher? Please? How many times did you do the finisher? Three times. Just like no. everything else. Three times. Here we go. See Sorry, we're, no, no. Okay, overhead press. Here we go. Don't press it. I am with that answer. Overhead press. It's three times. Press. It's all. That's the magic number this week. Out on the work, so as you go up, breathe out. All right, go to that hammer curl. Same motion, keeping your hands, palms towards you. Five seconds. Here we go, almost time. 
Here we go. Sideways. I don't have that weight thing down. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> you yeah. picking on me? Yeah. Yes, totally. He's got like this weird red thing. <laughs> thing. <laughs> Five seconds. I can't do it. Two. <laughs> and time. I don't get it. Alright, someday. Whatever. Alright guys, we have reverse farm curls. Or the fawns. The fawns. <laughs> We're dubbing it the fawns. Here we go. Here we go. And then your motorcycle. Yep. Shooting all the way. Don't just stop halfway. You want to all you work on the wrist mobility. Full range of motion in your wrist. I can see how this would be an issue, like if you have carpal tunnel or something. So we have to modify or do something else. Just throwing that out. Yeah, if you have, you have carpal tunnel, maybe during this time you want to take and you work on this motion, right? You're just exercising your wrist, so you're you're just stretching that out. All right. It's a good option. All right, guys. Last one. We have those down punches again. I am going to grab a heavier weight so I can get that nice pull. From the bottom up to your armpit. Once it's there, keep it at your armpit. Backs are nice and straight. Don't bend them. <laughs> what? This is like a cheerleader thing. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> no, now all I have is book street five. And out and press. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, guys. That is it. You guys are not done. Close. Go ahead and get a drink. Get a drink. Get a drink. I'm going to go get a drink. You I are know. done, however, with your weights. Weights can go away. At least if you have weights at home. Yep, if you have weights at home, then you can put them on. I'm going to reset the clock now. Alright? So, same 30 seconds. Except, I'm not giving you any breaks except there's one thrown in there two times. Alright? So here we go. Watch out, Mina. We're going to reset this clock for 18. 30 seconds. Thank you, Mina. And zero seconds. Rest. Alright. I don't like that deal. Here we go. We have up, down. Let me move some of these. Did you show the people at home the finisher? No, not yet. You can show them real quick. All right. Here we are. I don't know how close or far away. I don't even know if you can see this, but it says finisher, up, down, left, right, twist. Oh, push -ups, a little right. down, Mom. A little down? Thanks, Lila. Um, okay. That's good. That's good? That's good. Rush and twist, and it does say rest. That's what we got. We're doing that three times, guys. What? So. Did you write that down, huh? I'm moving it. Okay. Up, um, down. It's up, just because I move it. So, I'm staying away from the word burpee. <laughs> Actually, you have to do 42 burpees because you right. missed mom's birthday burpees. We are doing those. Alright, so up, down. You're going up to down. And then back up. You can leave a hop up and leave a push up up. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. So, up, down, or what are they? Squat thrusts. Squat, you can call them squat thrusts. All right? And so, we're gonna, you're going to do those as many as you can in 30 seconds. Then we have a twist. All right? So, twist, you're down in that bear curl position or that plank position, and you're going to go from left to right. Right here, left to right. Okay? Doing as many of those as you can. Then you have push-ups, wherever you're at with your push-ups, if you're on your knees, that's perfectly okay. If you're all the way up, that's okay too. Wherever you're at with your push-ups, try and work on at least getting that full range of motion, right? So if you're full range, you're, this is not a complete push-up. You want to be able to go to chin to the floor and back up, all right? That's what you're working on. If you're not able to do that, that's okay. At least throw a few in there where you're going all the way down and then making yourself push back up. 
All right? So just throw a couple in there. We're in that full range of motion. Okay. Then we're going to roll over. We've got some sit-ups. And then we're going to sit up and get a rush and twist. That's what we got. Then we're going to rest, and we're going to do that a few more times after that. We can do this. That's it. And then we're done. I promise. We're done after this. We can totally do this. <sighs> All right, guys. You can grab a mat if you need one. I don't know what we're doing. It's on the whole thing. I'm not going to do it. Use a mat, but you can grab one if you need one for the uh, rush and twists and the sit-ups. All right, guys. Here we go. We got 10 seconds. Yep, yeah. Here we go. We got squat thrusts or up down. Here we go. Remember to breathe. As you do these, I'm going sideways. I'm actually letting my hips go down a little bit because I like that stretch. You know, but you need to make sure you're controlling that so you don't hurt your lower back. If you have to, go ahead, step these out, step them back up, and stand up, right? Nothing wrong with that. Three, two, and one. We're ready to do a twist. See right here? No breaks. Twist, left to right. If that's not working for you guys, just keep your leg through right here, okay? Other than that, you are going side to side. Five seconds, two, and one. Push ups. Might as well stay down here. Try for that full range of motion. Stretch them out when you need to. Then get back into it. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. Your arms should really love you for this one. <laughs> And over to sit ups. Roll it over. We got some sit ups. You can do crunches here if you want to. You can do a full sit up. If you're home, you can stick your feet under your couch. Make sure if your hands are behind your head, you're not reefing on your neck. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Five. Mina, we can see you swinging. Rush and twist. You can lift your feet or keep your feet on the floor. Man, this is tough. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can show them the pilot if you want. Can I do it? No. Enjoy it. You got 20 seconds left. <laughs> All right, we have that squat thrust or up and down. Are we still in the view, Lila? Don't touch it. Are we in the view? Can you see us? Yes. Okay. And here we go. Don't touch it. <laughs> There's a rubber band. Terrible. Why is it terrible? Ten seconds. Don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm not going to. Three, two, and... Here we go, right into a twist. Down on the floor. Buddy. Into a Bye -bye. twist. Bye -bye. Did you see me running across the room? Fifteen. I did not do that. I almost fell over on that one. <laughs> did you see me? Five seconds. Three. Two. Here we go. We got push ups. Stay right now. <sighs> Here we go. Keep moving. Step aside. <sighs> Ten seconds. 
seconds. Here we go. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Let's poop your pants. Anytime. Rush into our room. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Arms up. 
and exhale. Breathe it in. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. We're going to lean over your right leg. Yes, I'm going backwards for you guys, but we're leaning over our right leg. Did a nice little hip hinge there. Nice stretch. Didn't really do much of the legs today, so <laughs> more for our shoulders' sake here. We'll stretch it out. Bring it into the center. Nice stretch. And over the left. Really use those arms to get a good stretch in those shoulders. Bring it back to the center. Bend our knees and bring it bring your knees right down to the floor. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna face the camera here so I have a little more room. Cross the sandwich. <laughs> we're gonna bring it down to a child's pose just so we can get a nice shoulder stretch. Child's pose, you can have your legs together, you can have your legs apart. You're gonna reach those arms as far and far as you can, just so you get a nice stretch. And you want it to be a stretch, <coughs> you don't want it to be uncomfortable. So you're doing this for the Stretch, not for anything uncomfortable. Nice stretch here. Take a deep breath. And then you're going to bring yourself up to the tabletop position. <clears throat> While you're here, you're going to extend that left arm a little bit and take your right and thread it through. Stretch that shoulder again. Yep. Yep, just like what Jamie's doing. <clears throat> so go ahead and sit back if you can, or you can stay up here. Yep, you can stretch it however it's comfortable. Exactly.
You know, it's not just about working out, it's about, you know, working out as a community together. All right, guys. See you next time. <laughs> I think that's it. Bye-bye.